Hi Virgo, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot and I'm here to do your weekly reading for February 26th through March 4th. Generally my weekly readings are love readings, but we will see what comes up. The past few have been about everything but, so we will see exactly what comes out in your cards. Ooh, a new beginning. Yay, something solid. All right, so we have a new solid beginning. All right, or this could even be a gift. You could be receiving something, you know, whether this is something, you know, it could be even some sort of money that you receive. This is something new on a tangible level. This could be a new partnership. It could be a new career. It could be a new job. It could be a new lump sum of money, whatever it is, it's solid. Something is coming into you that is very solid. And it could have definitely have to do with money. It could be a state of mind as well, even though it is usually something on a tangible level. But with this card right next to it, this is somebody who is enjoying the finer things in life, um, is really stable and secure and comfortable with where they're at in life, you know, just very at ease so I think that this person whoever maybe this is you you've accomplished a lot you've you've done the work that you need to do and you should be feeling very abundant at this time it is starting out with a lot of abundance okay although we do have some sorrow here of course we do um, whatever you've been through a period of growth okay you have even though it may have hurt I think that there has been some grief that you've been going through that has brought you some growth and has given you some strength um, and sometimes you know hurt brings strength it makes us stronger you know what doesn't kill you makes you stronger and I think that's what I see here that you guys have prevailed and you are feeling very grateful for the gifts that you've received through some sort of grief okay it's like seeing the seeing the light through the darkness so that's what i see it's like you've you've gained some wisdom you've gained some strength you've gained some um power from heartache and that's amazing when that happens Yeah, this is this definitely has a lot to do with money this this week I feel like you guys could be receiving some sort of money maybe even inheritance I don't know there's definitely some money coming in this week from somewhere whether you have earned it or it's a gift or something you are receiving some sort of gift this week and I think you deserve it okay it appeared and it could be somebody you know if somebody um, from your past or somebody from your childhood, or it could be from your parents, whatever, I don't know. There's some sort of money that is coming in. Maybe you've just earned it. You know, you could have just earned this money. Either way, this is definitely a very abundant week. Although, it, I see that you guys are probably not loving yourselves as much as you should okay you aren't with the empress reverse there's somebody need, lacks love for themselves you know lacks the amount of love that they need it's time to refocus on what you desire have you just been focused on money okay because that could certainly be the case here have you been focused on your finances focused on your security focused on your career rather than love because the reverse this kind of looks like it what it is i'm i'm really focused on everything but love at this time you know i don't i don't have a lot of love for myself but i have a love for my possessions i have a love for my my bank account i have a love for my um money you know something like that and you know <clears throat> Being an earth sign, that is something that is pretty, pretty, um, 
prominent, okay? We, we do. We do like our money. We do like our possessions. We do like to, to enjoy the finer things in life, okay? It's just the way it is. We enjoy those little comforts. So, and we make them big comforts. We enjoy the little comforts and the big comforts. And, you know, in some cases, we might go a little overboard. And that could certainly be the case here. I feel as though you're being called to trust your instincts that you trust your instincts and you haven't been. I think you've been focused more on your career, focused on your money and focused on and, and achieving some sort of financial stability in that you could be re reaping some rewards of your hard work, you know, in regards to your career, your money. You could be getting a pay raise. There is definitely money coming in this week, an increase in finances. I don't know how it's coming because this is for so many people. But I see an increase in finances where things change very, very quickly for you. Um, it appears that... Sorry, I got an itch and I got to scratch it. Um, it appears that things are you're heading in the right direction and you're headed there very, very quickly. You could be thinking about moving. Maybe you're scheduling a move or you're scheduling some travel because you received this extra money. You're planning a vacation. It appears as though, you know, if you have the emperor and the empress reversed, you, there could be some impulsive decisions here. So really think twice about where you spend your money at this time because you may you may get the money and, and, and blow it right away. So just, just keep that in mind with these energies that you may not, you may not uh, make the right decision with, the, with this money that you get. You may act impulsively and it could be a tax refund. I don't know. I don't know what this is, but you could be receiving some money and it's gone before you even hit before it even hits the bank. So just just keep that in mind that you want to you want to think twice. You want to think twice before you go blow your money. Because you may feel very powerful when you get the money. Woo! You know, I got all this money and you might go overboard, schedule this vacation, waste it, come back home and the uh, you know, something crazy happening happens and the money is gone. So just keep that in mind. Just keep that in mind. I just want to throw that out there. This two of wands reversed. There is a, there, you're at a crossroads, you know, and I don't think you're focusing your energy in the right direction. So, you know, I think that you have reached like a dead end of some sort. You've reached some sort of dead end, and it has to do with your sorrow, grief. Okay, you've been you've been contemplating going down a new path because you've reached some sort of dead end. Okay, you feel like you've reached a dead end. So you've been contemplating going down this new path, but you're afraid to step on into this new path, onto into this new door, okay? But you've been suffering. I see this. that's where the growth comes in, like I started this reading out. You've been suffering in silence, okay? You've been suffering because you know you want to go down this new road, perhaps, towards your past, okay? You have these memories of the past, or you have this this feeling, you keep thinking about the past, you keep thinking about what it used to be or how it used to be or how it could be or something like that. You have these memories that keep resurfacing and it's causing you some hurt, it's causing you some grief and some suffering, you know, but it's, it's also bringing you growth and you may have been burying these feelings, these suffering, this hurt in your work, which is, you know, which sometimes can be a good thing to, and it can be because I see that you even though you may have been suffering, you have been prosper prospering in another arena, which is your job or something like that, because there's some kind of money coming in, whether this is an inheritance or your tax refund or whatever, there's money coming in. But either way, I see that you guys are headed in the right direction after a stalemate, after a period of indecision, after a period of not accepting change, of just letting yourself suffer. But it really wasn't suffering, it was growth, okay? Suffering brings growth, and that's what was happening. I feel like many of you may feel like you've lost your concentration, you've lost your focus, you've lost your organization, and, and you really want to go down a new path, but you're really, really scared to do it. And I just, I just don't know 
let's get these other cards and get some clarifiers. I want to know what this Empress reversed is, and you know what is this Empress reversed? This is this Empress reversed tells me that you you're lacking enough love for yourself to follow your wishes. You know what I mean? I think that you guys have reached a dead end, and you know you have, and you don't love yourself enough to put yourself first and go down that new path. Okay, to go through that new door. This door that you've been dreaming about, that you are remembering. I think you you have these memories of the past or memories of love or memories of something that are pulling you to go through a new doorway, pushing you, saying, you know, this is what you want. This is what you know what you want. There your you, these memories that are coming to your to your mind, coming into your thoughts, are trying to push you in a new direction and you've been denying it. Because you don't love yourself enough to follow your own path. And you do deserve more. And you know that you deserve more. But you're feeling like you are feeling like you will be rejected. I think you are, or you're rejecting. You're rejecting the truth. You're rejecting the love for yourself. You're putting yourself last. That's what I see. And um, you're, you are absolutely ignoring. You're ignoring the thoughts that are coming to your, to your head. You are. You're ignoring the truth. You're ignoring your truth. You know, and, and it's time to accept the truth. It's time to, to make a decision and take the blindfold off. And perhaps this week this is what you do. It could certainly happen. I feel like there's been some... There's been a relationship, okay? There's been a relationship that you have been wanting to move on from you've i mean this is moving on it's the same card different deck and this is saying that you haven't moved on from this relationship you've been pretending that everything's okay but nothing is changing and this is like you've been rejecting you've been rejecting the the your own feelings you you have been you've been rejecting your own feelings you have been you feel like you deserve more. You know that you deserve more, but you're in denial. You are absolutely in denial. You're like, no, 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 no. I can't. I've I've made this commitment. I'm in a relationship. I, I you know, there's been some kind of relationship where there's no forward movement. There's no more growth. You're not headed in the right direction with this relationship, um, and you're being called to move on, move on from something. You need to you need to bring peace back to your life. And you're probably going to have to sever some ties, okay? I think there's a lot of tension going on right now, and you are considering it. I think you are considering severing some ties. Here we have this Ace of Pentacles again, because I feel like you have this, this new opportunity for stability and security right in front of you. But you have to take action. You have to take the lead. And thus far, you haven't. And for all you people that want to comment underneath, this isn't me, then it isn't you. Do you understand that? If it isn't you, this reading isn't for you. If it is for you, then great. If it's not, use your common sense and just move on. Negativity is not going to help you along your spiritual journey. So anyway, I see that there is a new opportunity, a solid new opportunity in your future. And I feel as though you guys... are moving forward or considering it. You may just be considering it this week because that's what it looks like. You're considering it because we have the chariot upright and the chariot reversed with the six of swords. And, you know, we have these a lot of these reversals here and severing ties. You're considering severing ties with a dead end, a dead end situation. But you don't love yourself enough to do it. So I think this week is a week of using... This suffering, this grief that you've been going through that has really brought you growth to find the power, to find the inner strength, to find the courage and the confidence 
to do what's right for you. So because this Empress is reversed, I feel like this is just a consideration. It's a week of consideration. And I feel that you have new opportunities being offered to you for stability and security. You could be receiving that lump sum of, lump sum of money. And I'm telling you not to blow it. Maybe you want to save it for a move. Maybe you want to take this money to actually move. Because I see somebody wanting to move. Move physically. So maybe you take this money that you receive and get out of Dodge. You're considering it. You're making plans. <laughs> so for a lot of you, there's a new love and a new beginning. A new, secure, stable, loving partnership. Could be with a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, or that could be your energy. Stable and secure. I see a lot of solid energy here. You should be receiving something solid very, very soon, Virgo. I feel as though many of you are avoiding disaster in some arena. You're avoiding it. You're avo that's why you're staying stuck. You've reached a dead end, but you're trying to avoid any conflict. No, I don't want any conflict. My heart tells me I need to do one thing that, you know, I'm stuck here and I don't want to be here, but I really can't deal with any conflict. So, you know, I'm, I'm not, I'm not following my path. I'm not following my heart in this situation. But the fact of the matter is I'm not happy. I'm not happy with this. I'm not happy at all. And I want to move on, but I just need to find the strength to do that. If I could just find the strength to move on and go down this new road, I would be secure and stable and happy and loved. It's really time for you to refocus on what you desire with this Empress reversed. And that's what that means. You need to refocus on what you desire. You have so many options. And it's time for you to follow your heart. So Virgo, I think that, you know, this is a very abundant week. You may be considering becoming single because this is the single person. You may be thinking about um, leaving something that has reached a dead end. You're thinking about it. Thinking about it. I feel as though you could receive a large uh, pay increase or increase of finances, this refund check or your or something. Could be any form. Receive some sort of money that you could squander away in a heartbeat. And you are being called to think twice before you act impulsively with your money. And you are being called to follow your heart in regards to your love life. If you are single you could receive love, money, and security, stability, something solid could come into your life. Ace, 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 one, 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 manifestation. It's also a number of independent, it's a, of, of being independent. So many of you are considering being independent. On your own. Many of you are waking up. This is also an awakening. I mean, one, one, one. It's also a manifestation. Your thoughts become things. Many of you have been contemplating leaving something behind. Your thoughts become things. The more you think about it, the more it manifests. Manifestation is happening here big time. A lot of man manifestation is going on. Your thoughts truly become things. 
The more you think about leaving, the more the universe is going to push you to leave. The more you think about money, the more money you're, you know, the more you manifest this is what, what, if you think positive, I'm going to receive money, I'm going to receive this money, you know this money is coming in, it's going to come. Okay? One, 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 instant manifestation. Instant manifestation. Changes are on the horizon, Virgo. Daydream. It fell out. You will more easily hear and receive our messages if you daydream regularly. Relax and open your mind to receiving without directing your thoughts. Just notice any feelings, visions, or ideas as if you were watching a movie. This is the seat of creativity. Daydreams are thoughts. Thoughts become things. It appears to me that it's a time of you receiving the manifestation, receiving the manifestation of your thoughts. It's time for you to put yourself in the driver's seat and take the lead. Talk to you later.